fall off. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Put in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, or share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you leak. So before we even get into this, man, I want y'all to know I appreciate y'all for tuning in, liking these videos, commenting, subscribing, doing the things that you do. I need you to continue to show this class participation on these videos as well. You know what I'm saying? We tried. We ain't trying to do shit. We reacting to everything that's going viral at this point. It's a bag season. We four days away from the official bag season because it ain't even officially bag season yet. I'm about to turn it up. Yeah, me. But I'm going to need y'all help. I need y'all to follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash royalties world CEO. I need y'all to like these videos, comment, sub the goddamn hell. Yeah, I need y'all to do all of these things. Okay. Let's make this happen, man. And um, yeah, man, I'm going to keep bringing y'all this content. I keep hearing that some of y'all telling me, you know, I make y'all day better. And I want to continue to do that. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all make mine better. I need somebody to talk to. You know what I'm saying? So we be talking to each other. But anyway, enough of all the small talk. <sighs> Shawty say this is a story time on how she found out her mom was pregnant by her boyfriend, child. Let's get it. How I found out my mom was pregnant with my boyfriend's baby. So it all started while I was on a girl's trip in Mexico. Um, Roe versus Wade just got overturned that morning and I was calling all of the women in my life um, just to see how they were to check on them. And when I got to my mom, she was obviously distraught, crying. Um, I didn't think anything of it because she's a woman, uh, raising a woman in America. And she knows multiple other women who would be affected by this. Uh -huh. um, so I talked to her. We ended the call. Went back to my trip. Right. Two days later, I called my mom just to check on her. And she's still audibly, like, distraught. You could tell she'd been crying. And I was asking her what was going on. And she wasn't telling me. And I was telling her, I was like, hey, tell me what's going on. Or I'm going to get on a flight and come back and figure sure. out what's going on myself. Because I, like, care, um, you know? And ultimately, she ended up just telling me. Um, after a few minutes, she was like, I'm pregnant. Now, when she told me that, I didn't think much of it. I was just really happy, really excited, because I never thought that I would have a, a younger sibling. Um, so I was just congratulating her. You know, I was just ranting, talking about next steps, like, oh my God, like, did you set up the first ultrasound? Like, how are you feeling? Blah, blah, blah. Here it is. You have a supportive daughter. Supportive. She sound like she's very educated. She outside. Sound like a good daughter to me. And you have a sex with her damn boyfriend? Ah! I'm making funny jokes, talking about names. And then she cuts me off and she was like, but it's by, we're gonna call him John. John being my ex, my boyfriend at the time, I should say. I asked her to repeat herself because Keep in mind, I'm a little bit drunk. <laughs> I'm in Mexico. Come on. So punctual. Come on. Um, I asked her to repeat herself. I was like, what? Repeat that day? And then she says, it's by John. Now, I just... Before she tell me her response, I want to know right now down in the comments. What would you do? Hmm? What would Jesus do? Okay, and now that was jokes because I don't know who y'all believe in and all that. What I want to say is, you know, it's a thing to like have a mom and like the mom raise you, the dad raise you, you know what I'm saying? But at some point you become an adult. You, you become an adult. All right. Now, I wouldn't have whooped my mama ass for this. Because at the end of the day, this your ass. You, this is absolutely your problem. <clears throat> okay? You done got pregnant by the guy that I'm, you know, in a relationship with. So I, now I done found out he got community dick. You know what I'm saying? And then the community dick is going to my mama. 
girl, don't ask me to babysit. Don't ask me to do nothing for you, okay? And now every time I look at my little brother, little sister, I'ma think, damn, moms was smashing, a, my boyfriend was smashing the homies, which would be moms. God. After I heard that, my soul left my body. And everything that came after that, I was not ready for. Girl, what everything? Where is part two? <laughs> Ain't this about a bit? 304 mom got pregnant for our daughter's boyfriend. Hold on, y'all. We need part two. Damn. Oh, child, she done did an interview? Wait a minute, what? <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. Give me a second. I need I need part two. I need more. Story time. How why I'm just getting one part. Okay, what is this? Story time. I found out my mom pregnant. Okay, this part two. Woo! Bam. As soon as I got off the call, all I could think to do was block. I block her and I block him immediately at this point as you can imagine the trip is over <laughs> um and then my got the audacity to tell me this while i'm in mexico so now my trip off my trip all messed up all right bags come back home uh, and i were living together nah. um so i had some of my not they was living together so now i gotta move now you costing me money or even if he had to move. Now I got to pay more money. So you costing me money regardless. Friends come with me to get some things when I knew he wouldn't be there. And I stayed with one of my friends for a few weeks. Now I gotta Once the next steps were figured out, that's when I went back to the house to go pack everything up and move into my new place. I and um, I don't know if you guys have seen the other video where I was like, oh, he took all my things. That's what happened. That was when I walked into the house. Everything was gone, cleared out. He was out of there. So he I call him. Yoshi. No answer. Okay. So I text him. And he answers. To summarize those messages, he basically said that um, he took my things in order to get me to have a conversation with him. What the fuck we got to talk about? What is it that you could possibly say to me? Not only did you have relations with my mama, okay? With my mother. You then, I guess it was so good. You know what I'm saying? You got her pregnant too? And you want to take my shit to have a conversation. It ain't nothing to talk about. <laughs> what? Um, since Baby, he would have kept everything. I blocked him and wasn't speaking with him before. Keep it. Um, Keep it. I asked him if he understand the magnitude of what he's done to me. Um, he says he's sorry, um, and he told me that if I come back, he'll make things right, um, and we can rebuild our relationship. Excuse me? So I can, like, take care of my, what, 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 what would that baby be? My nephew brother? I, I, no, no, my son brother? Wait a minute. I don't know, because this is a, just a, a crazy situation. What the fuck? Men! <laughs> Yo, it ain't just men, right? So let me, don't let me do that. People are crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie. People are crazy. <laughs> and that my mother would take care of the child. Our relationship. And that my mother would take care of the child. Bill told me that if I come back, he'll make things right. Um, and we can rebuild our relationship and that my mother would take care of the child.
So you just gone. <laughs> you just gonna have sex with my mama. End up getting her pregnant. And making her take care of the baby. By herself, nigga? There's a stranger in my house. Okay. Who is this? At that point, I gave him the ultimatum. I was like, give me my things or I'm putting you in jail. Period. Um, ultimately, he gave my things back. I didn't go to get them. Okay. My friends, thank God for them. They went okay. to go get my things. Okay. Um, I got my things back. Uh -huh. um, I got most of my things back, I should say. Um, I didn't get my money back, but that's okay. Now I got a punch. What you mean? He took money too? And that's okay. That's not okay. I'm okay with taking that loss. Um, and yeah. You gotta take some type of L, but damn, friend. So after that. I done. Hold on. I feel like you already took an L. I feel like you already took one. Two. <laughs> Two. I haven't spoken to him again. Um, I had multiple women reach out to me on socials once I started coming out with the story. Oh. Um, and they've let me know that they've either had relations with him oh. or um, they were in long-term relationships with him. Oh. Um, so yeah, haven't spoken to him, still haven't spoken to my mom. Right now I'm in a new place, I'm trying to heal, and I'm trying to move on with my life. So yeah, that's where we're at. Beautiful, black queen. You won't have no problem with doing that. Oh. The things people just leave us with. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. No, it's another part. Because I just seen a video she had on something pink. So she must have given an update. <laughs> oh, man. I'll give y'all an update if we get one. I'm done with this video. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below, man. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. If your mama come around your boyfriend, get him away. Oh, hell, get her away. I don't know who to protect.